there, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling, where we bring you the latest and greatest solution to some of the most challenging problems out there. Today in this video, we're tackling a topic that is crucial for anyone dealing with large-scale outdoor networks. Yes, we're talking about the challenges of maintaining stability and ensuring seamless connectivity. So when you're setting up a network across multiple outdoor locations, what is the biggest challenge? Keeping that network stable and reliable, rain or shine? Now that's where the concept of ERPS, the Ethernet Ring Protection Switching, comes into play. But before we dive into ERPS, let's talk about a common setup issue. Daisy chaining. Now, daisy chaining might sound good, but it's actually a network's nightmare. It was like having a single bridge into the city. If that bridge went out, no one could get in or out. And this setup creates a single point of failure, leading to low reliability and high latency. For example, if we're going to daisy chain point A to E, we go like this chain each one together but if one switch goes down for example b that means it will potentially collapse like a house of cards leading to all this failure but don't worry we've got the solution right here remember erps it creates a ring or a circle of connection between network switches and this ring ensures that if one connection or switch goes down the whole network doesn't stop still we have point a to point e now we are going to form the wing that means each switch will connect together and the last switch will connect back to the first switch to form a circle and if one goes down it will quickly find an other path in the ring to keep the data flowing Blah, like this and it can also go this way it's like a detour when there's a roadblock ensuring that everyone stays connected and traditionally, setting up ERPS wasn't that easy. It was like trying to coordinate a group project where everyone needs specific instruction, making it complex and time consuming. So that's why I'm going to introduce you to our industrial switch that come with a feature called a dip switch fast ring. Now it makes this whole ERPS setup way easier by eliminating the headache of configuring each switch manually. And we're taking it up a notch by using fiber optic cables for the whole setup, which are like the high speed highways for your data, allowing for longer distances between switches without losing speed or quality. So next I'm going to show you our setup on the demonstration board. So let me walk you through our setup for today. We have one indoor industrial switch here and three outdoor industrial switch. They're all connected together in a ring using this fiber optic cables and this form the ERPS and even when one switch goes down the network keeps running smoothly ensuring your critical operation never miss a bit so let's do the connection together step by step so here we have the router to provide the main network data this is the NVR and the monitor so we can display the video footage from the bullet camera that we are about to connect they're all connected together. Then I'm going to use this ethernet cable to connect the router and the NVR to our indoor industrial switch. Now let's name it point A. This is the power supply for the switch. Use the ethernet cable to plug in the ethernet port. Not only it has multiple ethernet port, it also has a lot of SFP slots. Now we are going to connect point A to point B using this fiber optic cable. One cool advantage of using the fiber optic cable is that they come pre-made, meaning that you don't have to deal with the connector ends yourself. 
and we are using a single mole LC connector for today. This is the SFP transceiver. Now this is a BD transceiver. That means it allows us to use just one single cable between each switch, cutting down on clutter and cost simplifying the setup even further. So let's plug the SFP transceiver into our SFP slot. To form a ring, every switch will have to have two SFP transceiver. Let's connect one of them using this fiber optic cable. And remember that I said each switch has a dip switch fast ring mode. So make sure it's turned on. And we are going to connect this fiber patch cord to point B, another outdoor PoE switch. Plug into the SFP transceiver that I already installed. And we are using string B. Since this is a two string fiber optic cable, we are going to use string B throughout the whole setup. So we have two SFP transceiver. This is the string B connecting point A all the way to point B. Remember we use string B. I'm going to just go ahead and plug in both string B fiber optic cable. Because this string B is from this fiber optic cable. So now A, B, and using this fiber optic cable to connect to point C. Again, I'm going to plug in two string B, one from point B and one, we are going to connect it to point D, C, and coming down, we have this one, or going to point B, but first, Let's plug in this Ethernet cable. This is our bullet camera, and we can already hear the sound of it. And let's go all the way back to point A using this four string fiber optic cable. Remember we use string B, plug it back into point A which is our indoor industrial switch. So this whole setup is complete. Make sure on every outdoor switches, turn on the dip switch fast ring mode. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is absolutely a live video. So now let's get to the most exciting part. We are going to test on the ERPS. Remember, this is a ring, so it can go both way. So for example, if the fiber optic cable between point C and point D are broken, I'm going to unplug it to show you, to pretend this is broken. Will the bullet camera still work? I'm going to wave my hand. To show you absolutely yes, because unlike daisy chain, the ERPS allows the last switch to connect back to the first switch. So it is still working because it can go the other way. But you may wonder, what if the device at point C and point B is broken? Will the devices on point C still be working? Now we're going to give it a try. Let's add a dome-shaped camera to point C. Plug in the ethernet cable to provide both power and data to our dome-shaped camera and plug the fiber optic cable back in to form the ring. I'm going to show you the dome-shaped camera on a split view. Now we can see on the monitor, we have two camera. This is the dome shape camera. And we're going to pretend the switch at point B is broken. So let's check out the power supply. So I already unplugged the power source. The point B switch is down. Will the dome shape camera still work? I'm going to again wave my hand to show you this is absolutely again a live video because 
it is not going this way now it's going all the way from here back to the switch a so this is the erps but that's not all our erps isn't just a one-trick pony it's also versatile and if you need a straight line network instead of a ring no problem this flexibility makes it ideal for IP surveillance system in challenging environments like tunnels and riverbanks. And speaking of environment, let's not forget the great outdoors can be tough on tech, and that's why our outdoor switches are rugged and IP67 weatherproof, designed to withstand whatever comes their way. And for those extra stormy day, Adding a surge protection is always a smart move. Now there you have it folks, a deep dive into making a large-scale outdoor network more reliable, efficient, and versatile with our ERPS solution. Now if you're ex excited about this tag as we are, please give us a thumbs up and share this video with your tag-loving friends. And also don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And until next time, keep innovating and I'll see you in the next video.